टूडे वी विल डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल बफिंग ई सी बी तो फर्स्टली वी हैव टू नो अबाउट द वट इज मकैनिकल बफिंग मकैनिकल बफिंग इज ए स्लो फिनिशिंग प्रोसेस यूज फॉर अचीविंग द स्मूथ ब्राइट एंड मिरर लाइक सर्फेस एंड द प्रोसेस इज कैरीड आउट अंडर ड्राई कंडीशन विच रेज इज डस्ट एंड मेक्स द वर्किंग इन्वायरमेंट कंडीशन अनसुटेबल सो इन ऑर्डर टू रिमूव द लिमिटेशन ऑफ द मकैनिकल बफिंग so it is replaced by electrochemical buffing that is ecb so now we will discuss the ecb so in ecb we have a work piece and this is mounted on a fixture this is the carbon wheel this is the stainless wheel that is cathode and work piece is anode so this is the dc power supply and this is the tank that containing the electrolyte and this is the nozzle and the pipe through which electrolyte is flowing so here this is another nozzle for supplying the electrolyte between stainless cathode and the carbon wheel and this is the pump with the help of pump electrolyte is supplied and this is the path of the electrolyte following this is the path of the electrolyte flowing and this is the electrolyte that is coming out from the nozzle so now we start the working of the electrochemical buffing when dc power is supplied generally the current density that varies from 0.1 to 7 ampere per centimeter square is used then carbon wheel it will start uh, it starts to rotate when it starts to rotate then electrolyte is coming out from the nozzle so electrolyte that is starts to come out the nozzle and after completing its works between the carbon wheel and the work piece it is discharged to, to the electrolyte tank and again it is also recirculated so here we can see the dc power supply that varies from 0.1 to 7 ampere per centimeter square and the speed of the carbon wheel that generally varies from 1 to 6 meter per second and electrolyte that is generally supplied between the work piece and the carbon wheel that are NaCl and NaNO3 and the electrolyte flow through the nozzle that is varies from 1 to 10 liter per minute so here ecd electrochemical dissolution of anodic specimen mainly takes place on the surface of the work piece where it is rubbed by the carbon wheel and ecb electrochemical buffing it uses the carbon wheel that rubs the anodic specimen against a revolving cathode fiber so for if we need high speed polishing so in that case electrolyte nacl is used where high current density is ensured and addition of aluminum oxide to the machining medium that is electrolyte increases the amount of material removal so during ecb a passive oxide film is normally formed on the surface of the work piece so with the help of ecb we get the smooth bright and mirror like surface so today we discuss about ecb if you have any query you can ask by commenting subscribe to get more updates and universe double 2 you may like share and comment thank you for watching this video